We set this theme uh, about a month ago. I was thinking about gratitude. I was thinking about gratitude in the context of our fundraiser. And as it came closer to this date, unfortunately that, that thought of gratitude became more and more and more deep and wide for us in the way that we thought about what gratitude looked like for us. And so before we go anywhere, we're gonna, we're gonna be thinking about a few things in this intro, but um, one thing that we're really grateful is for the family that we have, for the folks who have been part of the space and made it what it is. And over the past couple of weeks, we lost one of those members of our family, someone who had been with the space since the beginning. And you'll hear a little bit about her and you hear a little bit more about who she was and what she meant to some people. But I know for some of you who may be a first timer, for some of you who may be a second timer, for some of you who may be still figuring out what this all is, I know it may seem strange to hear people talk about somebody who you may not have personally had face-to-face -face time with. But what I'll ask you to do is take a moment to take this in, because as we're talking about community and building a community, really what we're talking about is not just everyone who's present, right? We're thinking about the generations of people who have made it so that we can be here today. So with that, I'm gonna bring up a good friend of ours um, to, to, to start us off a little bit with that. So please um, give it up for Talon Tomino. Um, thank you very much, Sean Mura. <sighs> two Tuesday, but two Tuesdays ago, Tracy Katsukiriyama had texted three of us: me, Mike Hagiwara, and Karen G, to come to the show because it's the start of summer. It's a one season. Being Japanese American, I'm supposed to be practicing. A born season in Japanese American culture and Japanese culture is about um, celebrating those who have gone on before us. TNC is this community space. And I see so many, so many young friends and so many old friends. And so many of us who are here together because we're here together as familia, as family, as kyodai, as kizuna. I don't know what the words are in our, our brother and sister languages, but immediately it comes back to a foundation of who we are and how we get built. And Karen G would be sitting in this section bringing piles and piles of food. Her brown butter mochi, her matcha mochi. I get a text from Jane Louis, who is a musician who's been here many, many, many times. And um, I don't want it to be superficial. My heart goes out to Tracy. My heart goes out to Sean. My heart goes out to every single one of you who are blessed to know this fantastic, ubiquitous supporter and Super fan, Karen G. You might see her name in various independent films as producer because she did the pro bono legal work for so many artistic endeavors. And knowing that as artists, sometimes we don't have the, the money to be able to pay persons who do the hard work. So in turn, you see Karen G, producer. It's like, oh my God, she's everywhere. That ubiquitous spirit, that work ethic, that giving of heart was so selfless. <sighs> to keep it all together, her name, Karen, rhymes with Sharon. This is the night of gratitude. I don't want... Can you do me a favor? Can you look at the person to your right? I'm gonna close my eyes because I'm not gonna check you out. Can you just say please for us, for Karen, thank you. Right now, one, two, three. To the left, one, two, three. Thank you. This is that kind of thing that Karen would have given every single bone in her body. She was the baker extraordinaire. She would, I bet she has cookie dough in her refrigerator right now, freezer in right now. I bet she has scalloped potatoes right now in her freezer. 
but I know she's looking down at each one of you, knowing that this is a part of her family. This is something that she came to every Tuesday, every show that she went to here at East West Players, supported visual communications in every endeavor, independent films, small films, shorts, the, uh, the feature length films, Grateful Crane. There's so many other organizations that Tracy will mention later. Oh, sorry. You are part of her family. Even though you might have not known her personally, know that her spirit, that her monies, that her work ethic is a brick of what you all come to feed from. This is your fountain. This is your, you are all vessels receiving this wonderful spirit who gave so selflessly. Chris Lee knows her for 40 years. He says she was the best person. She was the best of us. Amy Hill says, the void is immeasurable. Karen G was always her plus one. Brooke Lee, Pamela Wu, Eddie Kochiyama, Dan Kuromoto, Rick <coughs> Shiomi. These are all Asian American legends from, <laughs> from before a lot of you were born. I wish I could embrace every single one of you with the laugh, the smile, and the soul and the spirit of this incredible woman. But you know her because you're here together. And to be able to say thank you for being that brick that created this space known at Tuesday night, known as Tuesday Night Cafe. Know that you are going to go on. Take a look at yourselves and think 40 years ahead. Y'all going to still be here? I hope so. <laughs> Karen would be here. Karen is here. So know that. Know that we continue on together. Grab the hand next to you and say thank you one more time. Thank you, thank you for sharing, and thank you for caring. Tracy Katakiriyama. Thanks so much, Tamlin. Um, so, I'm just gonna say a few words, and then we're going to bring up a really special musical performance um, in dedication to our beautiful friend Karen G, who we lost two weeks ago on a Sunday. And um, I was sobbing like crazy at our meeting in the days that followed Karen's passing, trying to explain to the newer staff at least a little bit of who Karen is and, and, and was and is to us. And, um, and I think it's, it's weird because it's like, uh, every time I have to talk about this or you know, see our friends and it just makes it more real, which is so bizarre. It's like, you know, when you have somebody who you just think is, you don't even think about them not being there. And then all of a sudden they're gone. She was not even 60. Um, and, uh, and it was very sudden. And none of us really knew about it until the day that it happened. And so um, I just want to let you know, you know, from her work as legal counsel and uh, her work in uh, so much pro bono um, attorney work for so many causes, so many organizations, so many groups of friends. Um, she has pockets of people throughout this entire country and the way her sister says it is like looking through Karen's context list, she realizes that Karen was connected to the universe. And it was, you know, it's very daunting <laughs> for the family to even think about how to pay homage and do memorial for her. Um, 
I guess I should have brought up a tissue. <laughs> um, so, and, uh, oh my gosh, thanks. Why do I always have tissue? Like, just right on the spot. <laughs> wow. Um, thank you. So, you know, if, if you cared about causes, uh, including a lot of work that she did around Prop 8, and, um, you know, I think I personally got to know Karen through uh, the earliest days of experimenting as a young theater artist, and she would come out to all of our shows and uh, I especially met her, I think, very first through a band called Visiting Violet, which was the first band to ever perform at Tuesday Night Cafe back in 1999. And Karen was a huge fan, and through that experience, she started to support, like, all of us. She would come to our Zero Three shows, our Here and Now shows. She would, like, help us with all this legal work, um, negotiating contracts and advocating for us. And, um, she became legal counsel of Tuesday Night Cafe and Tuesday Night Project as an organization. And I, I, she's one of those rare people who I can point to and say, you know, she had been coming and supporting and actively bring, been, been bringing people to this space ever since we started in 1999. And people who've become to become some of our biggest supporters. And, um, and, and, and not only was she that person, and just someone who wanted to be in the audience and uh, never needed or wanted to perform. You know, that rare combination of this person that has just always been there. And then, like, we find out on, on top of all things that she's like this amazing baker, like Dylan said, and, and we're just like, who is this magical unicorn person from Boston with this amazing laugh and accent? <laughs> and so we're really, um, we will, you know, let you know um, about the memorial that's going to happen in January of 2020. You're all welcome to come and learn more about her and see the beautiful people that she's impacted. And um, now we would love to go and in, in, into that beautiful song. Karen was a huge fan. Of visiting Violet, one of my very favorite photos that Darren Woko just shared with us recently was one when Karen is setting up some baked goods uh, during one of our fundraiser shows and wearing a VV hat just a few years ago, I think. So um, we'd like to bring up Glenn Servich, Shin Kawasaki, and I believe Sarah is also joining on the keyboard. Yeah. So these are. Lynn and Shin are two thirds of the amazing band Disney Violet and great friends of Karen's. I know Lee's uh, in Oregon, she's watching us, so she was our lead singer and uh, main songwriter. Um, Karen, Karen uh, looked at it looked at a lot of contracts that we had to deal with. Back in the day, in the music business, there was a, a lot of contractual stuff. Nowadays, you know, you can release your album on YouTube, but back in the day, you'd have to get a record deal. Karen uh, looked at a pro bono, looked at a lot of contracts for us and saved, uh, saved us from signing our lives away. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to throw that in there. Shin Kawasaki is my daughter, Sarah Moore. Sarah's gonna be playing Lee's part. Oh, 
17, you were 19. Never bad at things like that. High expectations, you were done so far. Then me too. Each child in the same vein, same way. Thank you. 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 Thank you.